What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, man, check it out. I got the Fesley FED 1000 and the Donner DED 200 going head to head right now on this channel. It's about to go down. So, you ready? Here we go. All right, man, once again, it's the verses. I love doing these verses. I love putting them up against each other because that's really and truly what you guys want to know is how does it compare to this drum or how does it compare to that drum? So I got in the studio the FED 1000 by Fesley and I got the 200 DED uh, by Donner and we're going to put them up head to head. So let's get started right with it. Here it is right now. All right, so check it out. Let's start with the basic stuff like the sounds. When it comes to the sounds, the FED 1000 gives you 225 sounds, while the Donner DED 200 gives you a whopping 450 sounds. So when it comes to just the sound library, the point goes to Donner. We gotta give Donner the point, all right? Next up is the number of kits. Cause it, Having a lot of sounds is great, but we gotta have kits. You wanna play. What can you play when you sit down? When it comes to that, we gotta give a point over to Donner because the Donner gives you 31 kits, whereas the Fesley gives you 15 drum kits. So the point immediately goes to the Donner, DED 200. Now here's some things that they have in common, all right? Both of them give you headphones. Not only do they give you headphones, but they give you the exact same headphone. What leads me to wonder is like, where they get their parts from, you feel me? Because they got the exact same pair of headphones in there. So with that being said, I'm gonna take a point and I'm just gonna split it. We're gonna split this point down the middle, all right? So they both get a point for giving you headphones. When it comes to what you get as far as gear, the thing that makes that 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 the Fesley stand out is that standalone hi hat. It cannot be beat. That is is phenomenal. You got to have it. And pulling it out the box, getting that real true feel, I got to give the point to the Fesley because it gives you the full hi hat, whereas you get the standard hi hat that you get with most electric kits on the Donner. So I got to give the point for the hi hat sound or the hi hat situation over to the Fesley 1000. They both come with a drum throne. They both do. And a matter of fact, it seems like they're very, very similar. Okay? So again, I have to ask, where y'all getting y'all parts from? Because they really, really close. You feel me? So we're going to split that point down the middle. Both of them get a point, half a point for giving you a throne. Going to the sticks. They both give you sticks. Now, I was hoping that there would be a difference in these two. The only difference really is the Donner or the Fesley puts their name on the sticks. Boom. The Donner doesn't. I'm not giving an extra point, just throwing it out there. But you do get sticks as with always. Of course, you get a drum key and, and stuff like that. But they both have that. They all have that kind of stuff. So I'm going I'm to throw in another point right here for both of them. We're going to split a point. And that is this. I like the fact that when you buy these drums, everything you need to get started is in the box. That is a positive for both of these drum sets. So when you pull them out the box, you don't have to go buy anything else. Everything is in the box. I'm splitting the point down the middle. Both of them get a point for that. All right, let's run through some of the things again that they have in common. 10 inch ride, got it. Eight inch crashes, got them. They got the same basic type of crashes all the way around. When it comes to the kick drum, that's where there's a difference in size. The Fesley drum is a little bit larger than the uh, uh, Donner drum, but here's the thing. They both, I can't decide on which one I like more. One is six and a half inch, one is about seven, you know, just slightly larger, just slightly larger, uh, maybe even eight. Um, I know you can put double, I'm pretty sure you can put a double kick on the Fesley, I think you can. But if, if you do, it's gonna be tight. So, even though I think I like the feel of both of them equally, I'm gonna give Fesley the point because I believe you could put a double bass drum on it. Um, I don't have a double bass to, uh, pedal to try it out. I don't play double bass. But you, I believe you can. So, I'm gonna go off of what I think. I think I'm right, based on the size. You can put the double bass, so I gotta give the point to Fesley for the double bass. 
Everything else, I'm gonna give a half point that I mentioned because all of those features are exactly the same on both. both. So that's ride and crash. We're gonna give them the same point. We're gonna split a point. But I gotta give a point to Fesley for the kick drum. They both have eight inch toms. They almost look identical, the same uh, height, um, the same setup almost, very, very close. Uh, so I'm gonna give a, a half a point there. They got the same amount of toms. When we go to the snare, they both have eight inch snares. What's up y'all? I had to jump in here real quick with a correction. I stated um, in the video that they both had an eight inch snare and I did not award a point, but I'm actually get, gonna correct that. The Fesley has a 10 inch snare. I'm not gonna award the point for the deep dish um, section, but it is a larger snare. Larger is always better when it comes to drums. So I'm gonna an award a point right now because of that. The Fesley gets the point. Believe it or not, the rack system is like identical, except for the feet on one. You can see the feet on one um, are different on the uh, Fesley, I believe it is. And the Donner is a little bit kind of standard. But they're actually a little bit interchangeable. As far as durability is concerned, I'm gonna give the point for the rack to Fesley. When it comes to the module, I'm gonna have to go with I'm gonna have to go with the Donner module. And the reason I give the point to the Donner module is because the Donner module is definitely much more robust and it's much more comfortable of a setup. You got a few more things that you can do on it, but the number one reason is the left and right out. Whereas all of the connections are on the front of the Fesley and you have to do a split out for left and right. It doesn't have true left and right out. The Donner module does. So that right there is immediately giving me a point for the module. Being that the module has the, the, the all the connections on the back, I'm gonna throw in one more point for the Donner module. It's just a be better module all the way together, all the way around to me um, to deal with and just much more capability. All right, so another thing that I wanna give a point to, and I'm gonna give this point to Donner, and that is, they give you some third-party software. Um, there's a third-party software called Melodics um, that they give you access to. Um, even though they're both USB compatible into any DAW, uh, Donner gives you access to a free DAW setup right out the box. So you have access to it. That right there is a plus. I'm gonna give them a point for their capability or the ability to get access to that DAW and the Melodics uh, sounds uh, uh, situation. Lastly, let's talk about sound quality. Now, when it comes to sound quality, this is where I'm gonna actually, well, let me, it's one of the things that I had, if you've been watching the videos, I keep talking about decay, the, the rate of decay in a drum, when it doesn't feel or sound natural. And that was one of the problems that I had with both. Um, you can hear it chop off. And so as a result, I'm gonna split the point. They both kind of have the exact same problem situation and as a result I'm just going to split the point down the middle on those all right y'all so as you can see we have come down to the wire and there's a tie so I had to go back and look at each drum individually uh, because you know my point system, as scientific as it is, sometimes can overlook certain things. So I went back and I played the drums, I sit down on the drums, and I had to ask myself the question, which one feels best, which one sounds better? Um, although I think the sounds are pretty evenly matched, they have the same rate of decay situation going on. Although everything else to me is evenly matched. This one was difficult, but I do give the point to the Fesley 1000. If you're looking for one to buy, I'm going to go ahead and suggest pick up the Fesley 1000. Now, if you just want that other one, go for it. It's still not a bad choice. Do not get me wrong. But in a scientific poll, a scientific point system, the versus win goes to the Fesley 1000. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make certain you subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.